In an impressive display of technological might, Japan and South Korea recently showed off some of their most advanced military robots to the United States. These futuristic machines demonstrate the rapid pace of development in military robotics coming out of Asia, and their capabilities could revolutionize warfare as we know it. The showcase opened with Japan unveiling their first ever combat-ready robot, the formidable Katus. Towering at over 4 meters tall, this robotic exoskeleton system packs some serious firepower with its arsenal of rocket launchers and high-powered rotary machine guns. When those guns spin up, they can unload a blistering 6,000 rounds per minute. Katus runs on diesel and can achieve speeds up to 10 kilometers an hour, allowing it to maneuver on the battlefield swiftly. Its insane price tag of $1.35 million reflects just how advanced this machine is for its time. While Katus thoroughly impressed military observers, some pointed out it may need mobility upgrades before full combat deployment. Still, it offers a terrifying glimpse of mechanized warriors that could soon replace human troops. But Japan wasn't finished showing off just yet. Next, all eyes turned to South Korea, as they introduced an unprecedented robot pilot that could transform warfare as we know it. But before we get into details of this robot pilot, if you're interested in learning more about the terrifying moments of robots, then do watch the video on our channel. Coming back developed by leading Korean technologists, this highly advanced humanoid robot can actually operate planes, cars and other vehicles designed for humans. By replicating the movements of a human body down to the fingers, this android could sit in any normal pilot seat and take full control. The possibilities are endless. Fighter jets, combat helicopters, tanks and more could have soon robot operators with lightning quick reflexes, unlimited attention span and no risk of injury or loss of life. The robot pilot has already been tested in flight simulation, successfully performing complex maneuvers like takeoff and landing. The development team plans to attempt an actual flight test soon, possibly as early as next year. If successful, mass production of military robot pilots could begin by 2030. This would enable rapid automation across aerial warfare and even everyday military transportation at a fraction of the usual costs. And here's where it gets truly terrifying. By uploading piloting skills and tactics directly from human experts, the robot could even outperform the very pilots it replaces. Its cold, calculated artificial intelligence would stay calm and focused even in the most chaotic battles, ruthlessly hunting down enemies. So while still unproven, this early prototype foreshadows military robots like it, potentially revolutionizing air combat. Could swarms of unmanned fighter jets soon rule the skies, or will opposing forces develop effective defenses against them? Either way, the face of aerial warfare may become unrecognizable in the not-so-distant future. As the showcase rolls on, Japan unveils its next robotic combatant, the formidable multi-mode ARX Mech Warrior. Towering at 4.5 meters and weighing a massive battle-ready 3.5 tons, ARX strikes an imposing silhouette across the field. This carbon fiber titan houses a cockpit to carry a human pilot, along with a unique trick. At the press of a button, ARX can transform its entire configuration for adaptable combat maneuvering. Its wheeled legs can expand or contract like mechanical accordions, lengthening and shortening ARX's wheelbase on demand. This grants top-notch stability when utilizing the mech's tank-like treads to dash up to lightning-fast 10 km an hour speeds. Beware, this machine isn't relying on just brute force. ARX comes equipped with a pair of fully articulated weapon arms tipped with dexterous human mimicking fingers. These enable the mech to delicately handle cargo, interact with control panels, squeeze triggers, or crush the skulls of enemies like eggshells. The utility arms also facilitate wielding various heavy firearms off of ARX's own chassis hardpoints when the pilot needs some serious extra firepower. Available now at $2.7 million, this futuristic battle mech could serve as a bullet-shielded, all-terrain heavy trooper to escort supply convoys and transport wounded soldiers to safety at breakneck velocity. War Machine and Guardian Angel rolled into one. When the operation demands a fast, lethal, adaptable response, ARX undoubtedly answers the call. But Japan wasn't done stealing the mechanized warfare spotlight yet. Outrolls two bipedal robotic juggernauts, literal walking tanks bristling with intimidating artillery, Nicknamed Landwalkers, these diesel-fueled giants tower between 3 and 8 meters tall, 
Each hardened steel exoskeleton carries a primeval-looking cockpit and its broad torso to house the onboard operator. They might have the weapons, but do these landwalkers have the speed to be apex battlefield predators? Unfortunately, with top plodding speeds of only 2 km per hour, mobility proves the crippling Achilles heel of these ultra-heavy metal beasts. Their thunderous cannon barrage promises brutal punishment once in range, but most enemy targets would scatter long before that happens. Still, Japan's military officials see latent potential in these lumbering prototypes. With enough mobility upgrades provided by locomotion technology advances, tomorrow's generation of landwalkers may yet shake the earth as unstoppable mechanized Godzillas. Finally, returning the spectacle to blinding quickness, South Korea answers with its newest lightning-striking warrior, the humanoid combat android FX-2. Encased in angular black and gold titanium armor, bristling with sensors, this mechanized battle bot combines human maneuverability with machine durability. Rather than a cramped interior cabin, FX-2's semi-open cockpit design houses the pilot right in its armored torso for direct synchronization, wears a heads-up display helmet feeding real-time video from FX-2's exterior cameras for full surrounding awareness. From metal joints powered by hydraulic actuators to fully articulated weapon arms, FX-2 matches its human pilot's body architecture with unnerving precision. When the pilot moves, the android mirrors in perfect symmetry like a shadow. This allows for intuitive, responsive handling. Additionally, clever control programming enables manipulating the mech's weapon hands and fingers as effortlessly as one's own. Is the operator truly piloting a machine anymore, or has the man become the machine? Either way, FX-2 breaches enemy threats with surgically precise applications of extreme force, then dashes away at 50 km an hour before the smoke even clears. South Korea unveiled multiple advanced military robots. A bipedal android with hydraulic actuators replicates mobility of Boston Dynamics Big Dog to traverse over 60 km terrain to traverse over 60 km terrain fully autonomously. An automated tank equipped for border patrols and surveillance enforces tireless monitoring via AI systems. The infamous SGR-A1 stationary turrets identify and eliminate threats within seconds using machine guns or grenades sans human oversight. Finally, the Aaron Smet unmanned transport can rapidly deliver 550 kilograms of combat supplies at 43 km an hour speeds into high-risk areas without endangering personnel. Attendees are awestruck by the sophisticated AI integration enabling autonomous operation, movement interfaces allowing intuitive control, and overall efficiency displayed by robots like the transforming battlesuit ARX and humanoid trooper FX2. With such rapid advancement, one shudders imagining what classified projects lurk hidden from public knowledge. Regulation is needed to ensure this imminent intelligent weapons domination stays safely in check as humanity's servant rather than an out-of-control master. For now, the military robotics genie remains partly bottled, but perhaps not for long.